down 64% in 2022 is C3AI stock a buy for 2023? I'm going to answer that question in this video, so stay tuned. The first thing I'm going to look at is this artificial intelligence company's revenue growth. You could see that it rose over 36% in one of the more uh, more recent quarters in 2020, late 21 and early 22. But that revenue growth has stalled, falling to 7% and could be negative in the next quarter. Revenue growth has fallen and way below management expectations for 20 for fiscal year 2023 and management's often rosy predictions have not come to fruition just yet the company that helps other companies save money on expenses by using its artificial intelligence software is finding it difficult to sign up customers given the macroeconomic headwinds enterprises are pulling back spending and saying hey if we can delay or pause these investments to maybe next year or or next quarter then let's do that let's save expenses right now and let's pause or delay these discretionary spending even though it might be good for us long term let's maybe push out this transition over the next few quarters or or next two years instead and that's not good news for c3 ai which needs to bring on new customers because it's heavily reliant on uh, one customer Baker Hughes which accounts for nearly a third of its revenue so this is not good news for the company right now the next thing I wanted to look at is C3's operating income and that's getting worse as time is going by its operating income fell to a loss of 71.97 million nearly the highest quarterly loss in its record so even though its revenue has continued to grow as it grows revenue it just loses more money on the bottom line that's not a good trend to see i don't like to see this for growth stocks i want to see some demonstration of economies and scale some leveraging of the fixed expenses when revenue is growing i'm not seeing any evidence of that from c3 ai the next thing i want to look at is cash flow from operations because sometimes tech stocks can have positive cash flow even though they're losing money on the bottom line because they use so much stock-based compensation but that's not even the case for c3 ai its cash flow from operations also is heading in the wrong direction losing 52.59 million in its most recent quarter and the trend has been downward so as revenue grows it loses more money on the bottom line loses more cash from operations and then now let's look at its average diluted shares outstanding so even though it's not generating positive cash flow from operations it's still diluting shareholders massively it started out with about 72 million shares outstanding in 2020 that increased by about 36 million so about 50 percent dilution to 108.88 million shares outstanding and not much improvement in terms of cash flow from operations so for now all of the metrics i'm seeing with this company is heading in the wrong direction so let's look at its valuation to finally answer if the stock is a buy um, at least the stock is trading away below its peak valuation it used to trade at a price to sales ratio over 75 it's now down to a more realistic 4.38 price to sales ratio but i but i would still not recommend buying this stock for 2023 so i would say the stock is not a buy for 2023 the macro headwinds with enterprises pulling back spending could actually turn revenue negative over the next quarter or two and that's not a time you want to be paying these growth stock valuations for this type of company so to answer the question is c3 ai stock a buy for 2023 i'm gonna say no it's not a buy all right, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.